Hello everyone, welcome to your very own Empower with Knowledge channel. In this session, we will be discussing on the topic India to make its mark in the field of quantum technology. Before going into details, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon as well so that you get notified to every video we upload. So, in the recent union budget, our Honorable Finance Minister Srimati Nirmala Sitharaman in her speech announced of constituting a national commission sorry national mission on quantum technologies and applications for which there has been an allocation of 8000 crore rupees for a period of 5 years furthermore the minister of electronics and information technologies has signed an agreement with israel for a joint research program in 27 possible areas quantum computing being one of them so in brief we try to know what quantum technology is and what it deals with quantum technology is that branch of science which is dealt based on the principle of quantum mechanics now the question arises why did we need to formulate and introduce quantum physics for this we need to go back to 16th century when almost all the physical phenomena would be easily explained with help of, help of quantum classical mechanics which is also called Newton mechanics named after Sir Isaac Newton who was among the first to deduce and derive it. Everything was going fine until 18th century. Then there came some confusion. When scientists were experimenting with gaseous objects and were trying to explain the associated phenomena classical mechanics came short this time then there came need of some other formalism and hence was developed statistical mechanics in the similar fashion later in the 19th century certain physical phenomena reached even more difficulty neither classical mechanics nor statistical mechanics were enough to explain that for example light what is light as per definition Light is a form of energy, but is light a wave or a particle? In several experiments like Young's double shield experiment in 1801, it was evident that light acts as a wave. Okay, fine. But later, in an experiment by Harge in 1885, probably named the photoelectric effect, in which when a high intensity light beam is fall on a metallic substance it emits electron through this experiment it was evident that light exhibits particle nature now the arises question what light actually is wave particle or both how can this be explained furthermore in division german experiment they used electron beam to par perform an experiment similar to young's double shield experiment which we discussed earlier. As you all know, electron is a particle, but here in this experiment, the result was exactly the same as obtained in Young's double shield experiment, means electrons, which is serially a particle, also they exhibited the wave nature. Later, many, phys many physical phenomena in the range of atomic dimension raised many questions and also counter questions. Then, this could later will be explained by the case of introduction of quantum physics and gradually was introduced the other branches of quantum physics like quantum electrodynamics quantum chromodynamics elementary particle theory etc now if we talk about the application of quantum technology with the gradual development of quantum mechanics today we have been able to extend it further in practical sense and thus develop the branch of sciences like quantum technology this can be classified mainly into following categories quantum computing quantum imaging quantum cryptography etc these are based on quantum mechanical properties like quantum entanglement quantum tunneling etc now it is important for us to know how relevant quantum technology is in present context and is it a good step that India is prioritizing in this sector? The answer is simply uh, yes. 
in the near future with the advent of quantum technology we will be hugely benefited it is a technology of near future it has a promising future in the coming days be it in the case of scientific innovation or technological development or healthcare sector quantum technology will be everywhere and definitely for the good cause for the goodness of mankind for the advancement of scientific and technological development to is our day to day life for our convenience so it is an welcoming decision by our union government another point to bear it recently google claimed to have built the first ever comp quantum computer which can perform in way better efficiency than the supercomputers although it is in its initial stage still capable of doing difficult tasks at ease so we can surely expect a prosperous future of quantum technology so this is it of our discussion if you find it informative please do like and share also if you don't like it let us know if you feel more information to be added here or do want to share your opinion or suggestion please let us know by comment section share this video among as many people possible thank you all